Hi, my name's Michael. Have you ever read a book that you enjoyed so much that you don't want to do anything else? Or how about a book where you finish reading it and you want to give it five stars, but then you think about all the other five star books that you've read and they don't seem as good as the one you just finished? That's the kind of feeling I had with Submission by Michelle Wallerbach, and this is a French book that was translated into English by Lauren Stein. Just a bit of background about Submission. It was published on January 7th, 2015, and on that day, Charlie Hebdo, the French satirical magazine, had a cartoon of Wallerbach as a wizard. And on this particular day, some Muslim extremists had attacked and killed 12 people. And most people are aware of this story, but they might not be aware of Michelle Wallerbach's being on the cover. And this is interesting because Submission is a satirical novel that takes place in the near future where a Muslim political party is running for the election main plot of this book is the story of Francois and he's a academic who has a particular interest in Heinzman and I haven't read Heinzman yet but definitely an author I want to check out in the future and this particular professor is middle-aged and he's not happy with his life he's actually a bit numb with the world around him and he has a very negative view about the secularism of friends at the time, as well as trying to search for something to give him meaning. And we've got these lead up to an election happening. It looks like the right wing party is going to be elected again, but in a surprise move, the Socialist Party and the Muslim Party join forces to give them the votes needed to win. And this is really interesting because I always see socialism and religion as having similar ideas and my background is Christianity, so I'm not too sure about Islam, but I know the acts of mercy really aligned with the socialist ideal, and that is to basically feed the hungry, heal the sick, shelter the homeless, and so on. And I think that's really interesting that the two parties joined. And we have a big change in Paris and France happening with the election of a Muslim party and people obviously speculate on how drastic the changes are but I won't go into too much detail. This is a work of satire which I suppose might anger some people especially the views on Islam but I never thought of it as being negative towards the Islamic community. I thought Michelle Wallerbeck is more of a nihilist than he was more negative towards secularism rather than religion itself. And I think he does talk a lot about people that claim to be atheists and I think he judges them more harshly than people that are Christian or Muslim. His main character considered himself an atheist but when people ask him why he considers himself an atheist he has no real reasoning behind it and he realises that he's not really an atheist he's just lazy and doesn't really know what he believes and this leads him into exploring Islam but there's a lot going on in the book that's really interesting to explore and I would love to know what a Muslim person thinks of this book because I'm curious to see. I don't believe it is meant to be harsh towards Islam. I don't believe it's meant to be harsh towards Christianity either. I think it's just trying to critique Western society and how we sometimes have no meaning in our life. We're consumed by consumerism. We don't think about the philosophical or theological aspects of our lives. And I think Michelle Hallerbeck is trying to get the reader to think about it in a bit more detail and maybe imagine what the world would be like if there was this drastic change from a secular society to, say, a Muslim political power or even a Christian political power and how things would change. I do understand that there 
will be some people that are pretty angry with the book, and I'm interested to hear what they say of the book, so I might do some research on that. I just found it really fascinating, and I didn't want to stop reading it, and I really enjoyed his writing. I'm definitely going to try his writing again. I have the maps and the territories reserved for me at the library just so I can return back to his style and see if it's an author that I'm going to love and have to pick up all his work. I am a little sad that I got this book from the library because I just wanted to underline so many passages throughout this book and maybe I'll have to get my own copy and reread it eventually. Just underline some of the passages. I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about Michelle Hallback on booktube and I was so engrossed in this book and I felt the need to share it and I hope people do check it out because it's really interesting to think of the ideas that it plays with and look at spiritual fulfilment and look at Western society and really understand what might be important to you and your life. It may not be religion, it may be books, but maybe it's something that is worth exploring. So I just wanted to do this quick review and discuss what I thought of the book. I just finished it just a few minutes ago and I jumped straight on the camera to just get my ideas down and I'm sorry if I was a bit rambly and I was trying to put together all my thoughts into one video but I felt like I needed to say something straight away and I have about four videos that I need to edit but I think I'm going to post this video next. If you want to find me elsewhere, all my links to social media are in the description below and if you have any thoughts on this book, I'd love to hear them. Thank you for watching.